Hey guys, welcome to the 39th Autodesk Inventor tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue looking at the hole tool. And I'm going to be showing you how to drill into a curved surface. So we're just going to go ahead and drill a hole into this surface right there. But before we can even open up the hole tool, we first need to create a point somewhere on this surface right here. And the first step to doing that is creating a plane that is tangent to this surface. So to do that, we're first going to have to go up to this plane right here and select tangent to surface and parallel to plane. So I'm going to go ahead and select this surface right here since I obviously want my plane to be parallel to this surface and I'm going to go ahead and select this as my plane that I want it to be parallel to. So now we've just got um, a work plane that is tangent to this surface and parallel to this plane down there. Alright, so now what we need to do is just create a point somewhere on this plane and to do that, we're first going to have to create a sketch on this plane. So to do that, just go ahead and right click here and select new sketch. And now to create a point um, on this plane, we just go up to point right here and just click somewhere on this surface. And I'm going to go ahead and just make it approximately in the middle. All right, so once you've got your point down, that's pretty much all you have to do um, in sketch mode. So you can just go ahead and click finish sketch. And there you go. But we're not done yet. What we created previously is a 2D point. We need to have a 3D point in order to use the hole tool. So to create a 3D point or a work point, we're just going to go up here where it says point and click on the point that we made in sketch mode. So I'm just going to go ahead and click right there. And as soon as I do, we see that it just created a work point exactly where we created a 2D point. So now we're ready to drill. But I'm going to actually go ahead and hide this plane right here so we don't have to look at it. So I'm just going to go ahead and right click on my work plane and uncheck the visibility. Alright, so now I can just go up to the hole tool up here. And I'm actually not going to want it to be from sketch. I'm going to want to make it be on point. So I'm just going to go ahead and change the placement to on point. And then I'm going to go ahead and select that work point that we created. And next I need to select my direction and I want mine to be drilling down into this material so I'm gonna go ahead and select a vertical axis so I'm gonna go ahead and select this as my axis alright so right now we see that it just gives us a preview of what our hole is going to look like if we were to drill it as is and right now you'll see that since we're drilling into a curved surface part of the hole is actually above the surface as you can see right there well, we ideally want to be drilling into a flat surface. And to drill into a flat surface, we're first going to have to drill a larger hole around the hole that we actually want to drill. So what we're going to do is change the hole type to something called spot face. And what that will basically do is it will just drill a larger hole that is shallow around the actual hole that we care about. So as you can see right there, once we drill this spot face, we can now be drilling from a flat surface, which is what we want. And you're probably thinking, well, why don't we just go ahead and use counter bore? Well, with spot face, it just basically defaultly makes it so that this hole is shallow. You can obviously edit it just like you would counter bore. But if the only reason that you want to have a larger hole at the top is so that you can be drilling into a flat surface, then you're going to want to go ahead and use spot face. So now if I just go ahead and click apply right there, we see that it just drilled that hole and we see that that second hole that we actually care about is being drilled from a flat surface. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial and that's how you use spot face. So see you guys.